All right, so here's the second example. We're solving a differential equation using Laplace transforms. So here's our differential equation. And then we have y of 0 equals 0 and y prime of 0 equals 0. All right, so let's start out by taking the Laplace transform of each one. And so I get Laplace transform y double prime minus, and I'm going to Laplace transform of 6y prime, well, I'm going to bring the 6 out. So that's 6 Laplace transform y prime. And then same thing, I'm going to bring the 9 out. Laplace transform of y equals Laplace transform of t. All right. So for y double prime, well, that's going to be s squared y of s minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0 minus 6 times, and this is going to be in parentheses because it's 6 times the Laplace transform of y prime. So that's s y of s minus y of 0 plus 9y of s and that equal the Laplace transform of t. Well what's the Laplace transform of t? Well if you remember from your uh, table well I mean you can use this t to the n well n is 1 and then so 1 factorial is 1 and then 1 plus 1 is 2, so that would be 1 over s squared. Right. So that's 1 over s squared. All right, so, so let's multiply this all out and put in our conditions. So I get s squared y of s minus s times y of 0. Well, y of 0 is 0, so s times 0 is 0, so that term there just goes to 0, and that just goes to 0. And then minus y prime of 0, so minus and y prime of 0 is 1, okay? All right, and now I'm going to distribute the 6, so that's minus 6s y of s, and then 6 times y of 0, well y of 0 is 0, so 6 times 0 is 0, so that just, that's just 0. And then I have plus 9y of s, and that equals 1 over s squared. So now I have to solve for y of s. So I need to move the 1 over. So that'll give me minus 6s y of s plus 9 y of s equals, and now I'm moving the 1 over, so that's 1 plus 1 over s squared. And then here I can factor out a y of s. So I get y of s. Uh, times s squared minus 6s plus 9 equals 1 plus 1 over s squared. Now, this right here will factor. That factors into s minus 3 squared, and that equals 1 plus 1 over s squared. So now, I'm going to multiply everything by 1 over s minus 3 squared. So that leaves me with y of s equals 1 over s minus 3 squared plus 1 over s squared times s minus 3 squared. All right, so let's look at this. Well, we're going to have to take the inverse Laplace transform of this one and this one. 
Well, this one, I can do that. That's, uh, if you watch my first example, we know the Laplace transform of t to the n e to the a t is equal to n factorial over s minus a to the n plus 1. Okay, And so you can see in this case n would be 1. Okay, So that's in this form. But now i got to worry about this one. Well, in order to do this one, we're going to have to uh, do partial fraction decomposition. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the partial fraction decomposition on this. So I'm going to go to a different page and do it. So I've got 1 over s squared times s minus 3 squared. All right, so that's going to give me a over s plus b over s squared plus c over s minus 3 plus d over s minus 3 squared. And now I'm going to multiply everything by s squared times s minus 3 squared. So that's going to give me 1 equals, and that's going to be a s times s minus 3 squared plus b times s minus 3 squared plus c s times s minus 3 plus d times s squared. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply this out, multiply this out. So that's 1 equals as times s squared minus 6s plus 9 plus b times s squared minus 6s plus 9 plus cs times s minus 3 plus d s squared. And now, distributing everything, I get 1 equals as cubed minus 6as squared plus 9as plus bs squared minus 6bs plus 9b plus cs squared minus 3c plus d s squared. All right, so let's check back over this and see if we see if I messed up somewhere. Uh, well, you can see here, you see this c s, s minus 3. Well, I should have an s squared here. So that should be s squared. This should be s squared. And so that would make this s cubed and this would be 3c s squared plus d s squared. All right, so I think that got it. Sorry about that. But you should know how to do the partial fraction decomposition. And now I'm going to group my like terms together and factor them out. So I'm not going to, I'm going to just write it down. That's going to be a plus c times s cubed plus b minus 6a minus 3c plus d s squared plus 9a minus 6b times s plus 
B. And you can you can pause the video and uh, go through that and see if you get the same thing. Okay. All right. All right. So now we have a constant term over here, one. So here's my constant term, nine B. So nine B has to equal one. And then my S term, well, there's not an S term over here. So this should equal zero. So I have nine A minus six B equals zero. And then there's not an S squared term over here either. So this will equal zero. So B minus six A minus three C plus D equals zero. And then there's not an S cubed term. So A plus C equals zero. <clears throat> so you can see here that B is going to be one ninth. And then you take that, plug it in here and solve for A. Okay, and then you have A, you can plug that into here and solve for C. And then you can plug all this in there, all of that, the A, B, and C, and solve for D. So I'm just going to write the answers down. That's going to be B equals 1 ninth. A equals 2 over 27. C equals negative 2 over 27. And D equals 1 ninth. All right, so now let's go back and plug plug all of this into here so we can rewrite this into this form. All right, so let's go back over here to the example. All right, so now I have y of s is equal to 1 over s minus 3 squared plus, and then remember this, Okay, so that's going to be 2 over 27 over s plus 1 over 9 over s squared minus 2 over 27 over s minus 3 plus 1 ninth over s minus 3 squared. So now I have y of t equals and I'm going to take the inverse Laplace transform of all of these. Alright so we have the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 squared plus, and I'm going to bring the 2 over 27 out, so that's 2 over 27, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s, minus 2 over 27, uh, minus 2 over 27, times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 plus 1 ninth times the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 squared. Okay, and uh, I left this one out and I'm going to have to no, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to have to squeeze it in here. So I'm going to put plus 1 ninth inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared. All right. So we have y of t equals. Now, look at this. I have the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 squared and 1 ninth inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 squared. So I can combine these two. That's going to give me 10 over 9 inverse Laplace transform 1 over s minus 3 squared okay, plus 2 over 27. Mm -hmm. 
and then let's put the plus one ninth this one and then minus 2 over 27 and that's going to be 1 over s minus 3 all right so here on this one remember this is remember the Laplace transform of t to the n e to the a t is equal to n factorial over s minus a to the n plus one and in this case n would be one because the one plus one would give me the two so then I would have one factorial up here which is just one so I'm good there alright so here I have n is one and a see there's a a is three so I have y of t is 10 ninths t e to the 3 let me write that a little better okay and now this one well the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s that's just 1 so plus 1 times 2 over 27 is 2 over 27. And then the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared, well, that would be this one. See, n is 1, and so that would be 1 factorial. Okay, so n is 1, so that would be just t to the first, which is t. Alright, so that's going to be plus this is t so that would be one ninth t minus and then I have 2 over 27 and then the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 3 well that's this one 1 over s minus 3 where a is 3 and so that would be e to the 3t And there's my answer. And sorry about the the mistakes in there. Uh, this kind of gets all bunched up. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, and hope you'll check out my other videos. All right, thanks.